Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So, most of you guys, I think, have seen the Facebook announcement from the official Facebook page of Figure Fantasy. The two figures that they have teased um, that are dropping. I'm expecting them, based on my opinion, it's going to be December 17. Because, as you can see here, in the, the, the there's only one date that I see here which is in the skin section. Um, you can obtain it by December 17 to January 6. So I'm assuming that both um, both uh, Xantha and Zhu Liang are going to drop on December 17. So take note of that. There's a big probability, but it's not sure. But more or less, it's going to happen. So we're here right now to review both of their kits so let us, you know, let me just uh, take a look at uh, what they can offer. So as you can see here, um, she is, Xanta Kane is from Let's Red. So as for her skills, let's uh, enlarge this. Okay. So as for her skills, guys, let me enhance this further so that you guys may see this. So she's a specialist class. Um, one of her skills is get, going to be Terren Seer Chant. Okay, attacks the current target and casts a streak of divine light on it for 5 seconds. 30% damage on it takes. Within the time, it will be duplicated, turned into vicinity damage. I don't know, probably a typo. Uh, and dealt it again when the divine light vanishes. So, from what I understand based on what i'm reading is there's an additional damage after the five second duration of 30 percent okay so that is what i'm seeing so hopefully and also there is energy re regeneration rate of six per second okay so that is one of her skills um transcendence when the battle starts or when being revived launches a single attack on the current target then it takes damage every second until it dies so from the initial attack the target takes damage over time until the target dies pretty much insane actually and uh, the next are soul cleanse which is attacks an enemy starts from the first enemy in the same line attack speed is intermediate and self-discipline boost the damage dealt from basic attacks by 12 percent so usually your basic or your standard skill Okay, so what do I think of her initially in terms of aesthetically? Um, she looks like a a battle nun for me. Um, well, it's a it's a unique concept. And as for her skills, guys, um, transcendence from what from what I understand is actually good. This is good in particular for um, bosses. Because this, um, it, uh, it takes damage every second until it dies. Okay, so this is going to be good for bosses. Terencer Chant, I'm not sure yet. Because this is actually very, ba very vague. Streak of Divine Light on it for 5 seconds. 30% damage on it takes. Within the time, it will be duplicated. So, kind of vague there on the translation. Uh, from what, again, I understand, uh, after the 5 second duration, the target will be getting an additional 30% damage. So, damage, then 30% after 5 seconds. Um, could be wrong. I could be partially right. But again, her kit, um, not really sold on if she's going to be, she's going to be S. I don't think so. She could probably be A. A tier. Probably... B tier. So between A and B, there that is where she'll be resting based on her skills. So again, a welcome addition to Let's Red. So let's move on to the other. So this is her um her skin. So again, I think this is this is a wedding skin. But the the last one, she looks like a nun or she's going to be wed. I'm not sure, but again, um cool concept for the skin um and uh, let's move on to the next one so zoom liang um he is from snow a so again previously um previously dropped in the other servers like japan 
um, and we're gonna have him in our own server here in global. So let's just uh, enhance um, him a bit. So Zulang is a helper. Let me go over his skills. We already have a teaser that he's going to be S tier, one of the best helpers. Um, um, he's going to be one of the best um, aside from Zephyr. So first skill is going to be Wind, right? Deals damage to all enemies and changes the weather weather to East Wind for 10 seconds. While the East Wind is blowing, reduces the amount of health the enemies restore by 40%. So reduces healing for the enemies. And when they are defeated, they explode, dealing a great amount of damage to those surrounding them. Energy re regeneration for this skill is going to be 6 seconds. So this skill is going to be kind of one of the most unique that you know, so far that we have in figure fantasy. We just the amount of health. Okay. Next is going to be Skylander, which I think I the, the last translation that I read from the Japanese um, server, this is going to be a good skill. So support passive, boost the figurine, figurines and adjacent allies, crit chance by 24, and hooks a Kong Ming Lantern to them, which absorbs lethal damage and once... It, and once once and then transforms into a shield lethal damage is just um before you die it prevents you from dying so that's lethal damage so it prevents you from dying once then converts it then you're given a shield so that this is going to be um very um in terms of in terms of uh, coming to the game this is going to partly change i think pvp um, if it's going to be brought in PvP and also in some parts of Pv PvE. So this one is going to be a game changer, Sky Lantern. Um, prevents you from dying from lethal damage, then transforms to shield. The shield lasts for 10 seconds and will be adjusted by Zulang's attack. Again, so it, 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 it depends on how much big is his um, attack stat. Next is going to be attacks an enemy, starts from the first enemy in the same line. This is Feathered Fan. And Recuperation heals a random ally every three seconds. So, tremendous support. Um, if you pair him with, uh, with another healer like Zephyr, they can actually work together. Uh, because for him, he concentrates on preventing lethal damage and shield and also decreases the amount of health the enemies are restored by, which is 40%. And 40% is actually a lot. Considering that the healing in this game, uh, based on my experience, is not really a lot. Um, um, it can... It's it's When you have healers, it's not really a guarantee that you will you know automatically boost their healing or you will be saved by their healing. But again, this is going to change the game. And in terms of reduction of heals okay guys so more or less that is it for my review for both of them so hopefully we could get them in um in or sorry on december 17 um hopefully zoom lang has his own skin in the future and uh, we could get it I, actually i've teased some of the skins already so you can see it in one of my videos um that i've done already so again both of them have a possibility of dropping on december 17th so hopefully guys you all of us hopefully have enough um currency I am not sure if it, they're going to be dropping in individual banners or they're going to be mixed with the current banner. But um, I think they are going to be dropping in individual banners. Okay. So anyway, guys, so that is it for me. Hopefully you got, you know, you got some insights from this video. And from today, probably up to Friday, you can save up those currencies and wait for them instead of summoning uh for um the current banner right now okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully uh, if you're not subscribed yet please do because only i think eight percent of my viewers have subscribed yet and um this helps really in my channel a lot also guys don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss future videos of figure fantasy from my channel and also do not forget to um put a like to this video 
Thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.